Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, uh, we're looking at PS Write PDF. PS Write PDF is a PowerShell module that's built around iTech 7, which pr provides uh, PDF manipulation um, features uh, for uh, PowerShell running on Windows, Linux, and Mac. It has some commandlets for things such as splitting PDFs, merging PDFs, converting PDFs to text, and then even creating uh, PDFs using a uh, DSL for PowerShell. So I'm going to show off some examples of some cool things that you can do with uh, PS Write PDF. So some of these examples come right from uh, his GitHub repo, and we're just going to kind of look through what you can do with this module. So first, uh, I'm going to create some PDFs using Write PDF. You can use the new PDF commandlet to do this, um, and then within the new PDF's script block, you can define pretty much the contents of the PDF. Uh, we have commandlets for creating text and list items in this particular example. So you can see here that um, he's creating some text, uh, and then you pass in the text as an array, and then you can pass in an array of options to each one of the parameters. So for example, I want these first two words, the first one to be Helvetica and then times italic for world and then gray and then blue. Um, so each one of these are an array and then you can kind of manage the, um, the colors and font settings that way. Um, so if I run this, what it's going to actually do is it's going to generate that PDF and I use the show um, argument and it's going to pop open that uh, test PDF. And as you can see, it has the different uh, test text settings that I set with uh, new PDF text. And what's cool about this is it's not just outputting an image, it's actually outputting a valid um, PDF file with like text in it. Because I know some um, some PDFs, uh, when they output, they output as an image, you can't copy and paste and that kind of thing from those PDFs. So this is actually writing valid PDFs out. Uh, in addition to the basics, you can also um, do things such as sections. So for example, if I wanted to output uh, a multi-page PDF, I could use new PDF page. Uh, specify the page sizes. You can see that the A5 is used for the first page, uh, A4 for the second page, and we're rotating it. And then we're putting some more text and uh, lists inside those sections. So I'm going to run that. And now you can see that I have two pages inside this document. Um, one is not rotated, the other one is, and then there are two different actual uh, page sizes uh, based on the parameter that we specified. Um, finally, I'm going to show off how to uh, write tables. So this is another example right from the GitHub page. And you can see here that um, we have two different uh, data tables. There are an array of uh, PS custom objects in this case and, a P er, and an array of ordered hash tables in uh, this case. Um, and then what you can do with those data tables is you actually can pass them into new PDF table and pass in the data to each one of those and it'll actually just create a table based on the data that you send in. So if I run this, you'll see that now I have a PDF document. Um, this one, top one uses PS custom objects and you can see here that it's created the table and this one uses uh, the hash table slash ordered dictionary and you can see the name value pairs here um, within this table. So that's kind of how you can generate PDFs. So it sounds like there's a lot of uh, functionality that's built into the library that might not be built into the module yet, um, but you can actually create some pretty robust PDFs based on your data and a great way to email around data or send it to management, that kind of thing based on your PowerShell scripts. Um, let's actually look at some of the other processing um, commandlets that are available. Uh, first of all, we have uh, the ability to take the PDFs that um, we've generated. For example, here I have example one simple and with sections. And you can actually use the merge PDF commandlet to uh, take two of those um, PDFs and merge them into a single PDF. Uh, so uh, let's get rid of this output document that exists already and let's actually go to merge PDF. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, grab the paths for those two PDFs, um, set the output file, call merge PDF. I'm actually going to list the uh, details of the PDF just to show you how to do that and then finally I'm going to open the PDF. So we run that and now what you can see is there are three pages inside this PDF. Um, 
So for my first example, and then my second example, and then my rotated page. So it took those two PDFs and uh, smashed them together into a, a single PDF. Um, inside uh, VS Code, you can see here that I have some output from uh, get PDF details. So it includes things such as the number of pages, um, what produced this PDF, that kind of thing. And you'll have a bunch of more information if this PDF came from um, some other system, um, such as the, uh, I guess the Foxit um, Phantom PDF editor that I'm using would have some additional information inside these PDF details. Um, the opposite of merging PDFs is split PDFs. So what split PDF will do will automatically split a PDF based on a uh, page. So all I have to do is specify my output document or my file path, which was my output document, which has three pages, and then an output folder. And in this case, the output folder needs to exist. And I'm just going to uh, run split PDF and open the three PDFs that it's going to generate. And now you can see here that I have the three PDFs. Each one of those was a page um, in that PDF document. Um, the last thing I want to show off is the ability to actually uh, retrieve text from a PDF and then kind of print it in PowerShell or manipulate it however you want. Um, so this would actually, like I said, take valid, um, valid documents such as these PDFs where it's actual text and not an image and then convert that uh, text string uh, into a string that you can use in PowerShell. So this first example um, will actually uh, get that output document and I'll put all the text for that document. Um, and then the second example will only output the first page. So if we run this first one, you'll see that we have all, all the output from uh, that document just as a string inside PowerShell and then we can kind of do, it, do it, whatever we want with it. Um, now if I were to just select the first page, you're going to see that uh, we just get the first page of output here. Um, and you can you know, select whichever page you'd like uh, to get the output from. So uh, that's kind of an overview of the PS Write PDF PowerShell module. It's a pretty cool way for uh, either authoring or manipulating uh, PDF files. Um, and I think I'm going to find some use for this because I deal with them a lot. Um, so if you like videos like this, definitely subscribe to this channel for more Module Mondays.